Hi, Dan Johnson here at Aero Showcase 2022. The airplane that caught my attention first, and I'll admit, it was because of this bright green paint job. But this is a really handsome little airplane. This is the Magnus, that's what that M on the tail is for. And this is the Fusion 212. And this is an aerobatic aircraft. This is a particularly handsome airplane, but I want to draw your attention to the wings for a moment. It looks for all the world like this airplane might have a curved compound leading edge, which would be quite a construction project. In fact, as you'll see here in just a second, it has a fairly Hershey bar type shape to it, but is nonetheless dual tapered. That is, both the leading edge and the trailing edge taper somewhat as they go toward the wingtip. In fact, you can kind of see through the cockpit of the Magnus, there's an extra 300 over there, a total aerobatic flying aircraft, and it has a dual taper wing, more so than this, but the two are actually quite similar. And I would say that's a pretty strong statement. As we walk in here and have a look at the interior of the airplane, check this thing out. Just beautifully done inside, right down to the stitching on the joystick there. All glass cockpit with some analog dial backup. Uh, real good for cross-country work. And in fact, really, this is a cross-country airplane. Now, I've said several times that this is an aerobatic-capable airplane, and it is. Check out these forward mass mounted ailerons that help prevent things like flutter in higher speed flight. This airplane was originally developed for aerobatic competition in the Red Bull series. And in fact, after that individual won his category in Red Bull racing, they decided to make this into a consumer product. Now this particular one under that dark black nose cowl has a 915 Rotax, 141 horsepower Rotax paired up with these Duke four-bladed props. And I'll bet you this thing just screams in takeoff and flies cross-country right at the top of the category. There's a fixed gear, fixed prop, so it can do that. And this can easily run, I am confident, to the 120-knot category that tops out the LSA space. There you have just a quick look at the Magnus Fusion 212, this time with 915 Rotax up front. Get more from aeroaffinity.com where you can find these charming people and several very nice aircraft. Here we see Lily Anna Andreka instructing her dad on how properly to tow the Magnus. Come on along back for more. Thanks so much.